Well, this is the site of Trallispeen Bay in West Cork. And you can see this small cove-like bay uh, just behind me here. And beyond it, the bigger bay of Tregunna. Uh, from a site location point of view, uh, these two bays are, are very closely connected. And beyond, you can see the vertical rock cliffs of the dominant rocks in this area, which is the West Cork sandstones, the West Cork sandstone series. And you can see an example of one of these big boulders that has been used for um, coastal protection here. And the West Cork sandstones are very hard rocks. They're composed of different rock materials, sandstones, but also quartzites and slates and shales. And you can see them in the far cliff. Uh, and you can see the amount of, of erosion that's taking place there with slumping and sliding of material from the top uh, under wave attack of those cliffs. So this is very much a coast of erosion. And the rate of erosion, because of the hardness of the rock, is quite slow. It's probably no more than a few centimetres per century. Uh, unless, of course, the waves undermine the cliff, as we can see happening over there, and you suddenly get big rock falls. Probably about a half of Ireland is composed of these vertical rock-type cliffs um, throughout the whole island. The reason we've come to Trallispeen Bay is that it has an exciting story, at least we think it's exciting. It's potentially the site of a tsunami event. And the ones that uh, we know, sites that we know of uh, potential tsunami impacts in Ireland are relatively few, but they seem to relate to the Lisbon earthquake of 1755. And probably that event did affect this location and it's got the best sort of record, physical record, of a tsunami event in Ireland that we are aware of. So we want to say a little bit about that uh, at this site. Many, I think, of, of people today would, would be aware of the impacts of tsunamis in other parts of the world. Uh, Fukushima uh, hit the news in 2012. Uh, or thereabouts, I think, uh, in terms of the impact of the tsunami upon a nuclear power plant in Japan and the devastation that that caused. Also, of course, the Indian Ocean, uh, much earlier in 2004. And increasingly, we have become aware uh, in recent times of the devastating impacts of tsunami. So it's perhaps uh, an idea that we don't associate very much with Ireland of the possibility of what a tsunami might do or that they occur in this part of the world. But here I think we have evidence of good physical evidence of uh, a, an early tsunami. The site itself, uh, apart from the beach, which was probably the point where a tsunami wave uh, exited from the land area behind us, and the land area is uh, composed of a big Phragmites reed swamp uh, in a valley, a large glacial outwash valley from uh, pre-20,000 years ago when ice covered this area and affected much of the geology we can see around us, which of course is now very much covered by vegetation, but has uh, exposed rock surfaces with ice scratch marks on it. And the ice um, that affected this bay came down the valley which is directly behind us. And we'll see uh, some of those views of the area a little later on. Uh, the valley is now infilled by a big Phragmites, which is a grass, a sedge, uh, reed swamp. And the tsunami, we think, came across the area behind us and exited down into that valley and out through this bay of Trallispeen and beyond into Tregunna.